Now, one of the things that has been boosting Neo sales, uh, you will know that it's not only their discounts which they are offering internally, but also the Chinese government has been issuing or giving out subsidies to those that trade in their old cars for the new energy vehicle cars like Neo. This is one of the things that is swelling some good demand into the EV. Uh, uh, industry. I mean, this also appears to the gas cars, but it's just that the kind of subsidies that those that are uh, swapping their old cars for new gas cars, they get less subsidy than those that are buying EV cars, which it shows you one thing. China is prioritizing EV cars, right? I mean, if I can remember correctly, last month, uh, the subsidies which uh, China is offering to those that are uh, swapping their car increased or almost doubled, right? Because gas cars, those that are swapping uh, their old cars for gas cars, they get up to 15,000 RMB. Whereas those that are buying or swapping their old gas cars or their old cars to buy EV cars like Neo, they are getting 20,000 RMB or up to 20,000 RMB, which is something that like I said, it's pretty exciting. It's amazing to see the kind of support that China is giving to those that are swapping their old cars for these uh, EV cars like Neo. Now, today we saw a report uh, coming from the Ministry of Commerce in China who indicated that in the last two months alone, they have received 680 a thousand application of those people that want to get this subsidy those that uh, want to swap their old cars or change their old cars with a uh, new car so this is something that means one thing and that is we can expect even good things for 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 companies like new or for ev companies like new because the applications are coming in numbers people want these subsidies which is going to result in companies like new benefiting continuing to see the kind of demand which they are seeing which will result in Neo being able to maintain the 20,000 that they deliver on a month to month because applications are coming in. I mean, last month alone, apparently, they received 340,000 applications, which shows you that the demand continues to rise and chances are or as long as these subsidies or subsidies like this are still there they are not going to slow down this simply means that companies like neo are going to continue benefiting from this kind of incentive it is for these reasons that even companies like neo and other ev companies have started also reducing their discounts or their internal discounts which they are offering to their customers because they realize that even these uh, government subsidies uh, it is bringing some boost or it is helping them get these sales which is why now it makes sense why Neo continuously get the 5,000 orders on a weekly basis which is something that is pretty exciting I'm happy I mean when I saw this and um, boy I was very excited and I was like the, the 20,000 that we are seeing on Neo or in terms of deliveries chances are very high that we are going to continuously seeing it come even in the coming months which just simply means one thing and that is blue sky is coming i personally have said in q3 i won't be surprised if neo can sell total vehicles of over 60,000, which will therefore mean on average we're going to see neo selling 20,000 or each and every month also for q3 starting from of course the month of july july already we've got 20,000. august now i believe we're going to get 20 thousand october uh, i i still believe we got twenty thousand q4 it's even worse because q4 you know that neo will be having two brands will that they will be selling or that will be generating them revenue and that is also the onvosa brand right so the future is bright things are looking bright for neo and this report we just read today is another sign of where neo is going it's another sign of the blue sky that we are anticipating or waiting for to come i mean over and above these subsidies one of the things that uh, make neo to win is of course the popularity that they are gaining which they are gaining and um, yeah i think it is uh, from the suites of social media i mean yesterday from just a, a certain game in china that people play uh, that game resulted 
in Neo becoming even more popular or trending because of that game because apparently there was a character who people were comparing him to the Neo CEO right so these are some of the things that helping Neo succeed in terms of sales a lot of people are starting to be aware of this car brand Neo and this only means one thing and that is it will fuel the success that continues coming to or that we continue seeing coming into Neo on a month to month this what we see here I think it's it's good news I mean one of the things that we are seeing I mean this week already I did a video of a guy who was driving an Audi A6 who swapped that car to get an ET5 this shows you that these car these guys that are swapping some of these cars guess where they are coming they are swapping and getting uh, uh, buying the neo cars. we i mean we have seen also other cars swapping their volvos swapping their other cars for neo this shows you that in terms of success we should brace ourselves because neo is set for greatness those days where we used to see or we usually see neo selling ten thousand per day are gone right the, 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 that 10,000 has become now 20,000 it appears that 20,000 is the new 10,000 which is something that as an investor of Neo I'm happy about this I'm excited and it is for that reason I just thought I'd just come and give you these quick updates because these are bullish news these are good news to know that 680,000 people have sent their applications to get the subsidies which is being offered by the china by china or by the chinese government it is something that is pretty exciting and it will fuel or bring some good news or to companies or to ev companies like neo so i'm happy i'm excited i just thought i'd just give you this quick update tell me what you think about this story i think it is a wonderful story for neo i think this once again it's one of those stories that shows you that there is a good future for neo in china we should definitely expect good things to come uh, from neo which is something that is exciting otherwise with all that i just thought i'd just give you this quick update do your own due diligence before you buy the new stock for the very first time because let's face it new stock price is quite volatile and therefore it requires you to have done some due diligence so that at least you are comfortable as you are investing onto this stock otherwise that's all from me i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all